Oh yeah, absolutely. It was surprising when I first heard it as well. But it's not only that the Housing Authority in Johnson County can only provide so many housing choice vouchers a year, but they also have that low success rate. They can only find housing for a fraction of those people. And that's because there aren't enough landlords in the county who accept vouchers. I actually talked to a landlord to hear what he thought about this and maybe what could help. Johnson County is working to provide affordable housing help to residents that need it most. It's through the Housing Choice Voucher Program. They opened their wait list in June and took 600 applicants. However, the success rate of finding those people housing is around 5%. Johnson County is able to offer more rental assistance in the community than we have units available for those families to use their subsidy. Brendan Pishney is the president of Landlords of Johnson County. He's also a landlord that accepts vouchers. He started because the county offers an incentive to landlords who will take them. It's one month's rent. That got a lot of landlords on board to try the program with the hopes of, oh, then you have a good experience, then you're willing to do it again and again and again. The goal is to get more landlords on board, but Pishney says he understands why landlords still have concerns. As housing providers, we're just there to provide the housing. We're not the social services side of things, and so if there's other things that are needed, the landlord wants to know that they're going to have that support they need beyond just the um, voucher. So far this year, the county has recruited around 50 new landlords. But that doesn't fully solve the problem. There's a dramatic shortage. The demand is very high and the supply is very low. Unlike Lawrence and Kansas City, Missouri, Johnson County's Housing Authority can't require landlords to take vouchers. Pishney is grateful for that. We want to be in conversations. Whenever you punitively send something to a landlord and make them do something, they'll a lot of times leave the market. We want to know that we're a partner in this. The county gets that and wants to keep providing for their landlords. Federal funding for the landlord Landlord incentive program runs out this year. However, the county has approved $200,000 in the 2025 budget to keep the program running. So again, this program has been funded over the last few years by COVID relief money. However, that money is running out. It will be done in 2024. So they are funding the program themselves for the next year in Johnson County, but they're calling it a pilot program because of that. So they'll reassess a year from now on whether they want to keep it going or not. Taylor so let's talk, Olivia, let's talk about that year. If the landlord incentives help recruit people to accept vouchers, should the county be able to help find more housing for people this year? Is that the, the goal? So there are just so many things that play into that. So yes, they've recruited more landlords in 2024, around 50 more. So there are more units available. However, the Housing Authority did tell me that even with more units available, some people, some families still can't afford housing, even with the voucher. That's why they want to take a deeper look at affordable housing options here. Back to you guys. All right, Olivia, thank you very much.